Hello, St. Columbus. I thought I'd try something a little different today. I thought I'd take a look at this familiar symbol, the Episcopal Church shield. The Episcopal Church, as you probably know, is part of the larger worldwide Anglican Communion. The Anglican Communion is made up of over 85 million people around the world. 165 or more countries, 44 different churches. What you may not know is that the largest piece of the Anglican Communion by population and the largest growing population in the Anglican Communion is found in Sub-Saharan Africa. The largest church being the Church of Nigeria with over 17.5 million people. After Nigeria comes the United Kingdom and then Uganda, Sudan, Australia, Kenya, and the United States that comes in at 2.3 million members. We're a small but important piece of that worldwide communion. So to our shield, you've probably seen this shield. It's You see it outside Episcopal churches all the time. It's often um, shown with the welcoming words, the Episcopal church welcomes you. Uh, but you may or may not be familiar with uh, the symbols of the shield, and I thought we'd talk about that starting with the three colors, uh, which are red, white, and blue. The white background be standing for symbolizing the purity of Jesus. The red in the cross of St. George, uh, symbolizing Jesus's sacrifice on the cross, as well as the blood of all Christian martyrs. And then the blue, the blue that you'll recognize is the blue of the Virgin Mary, uh, symbolizing Jesus. Jesus' human nature, coming from his mother Mary. This blue square has this X cross, which is the cross of St. Andrew, which symbolizes our indebtedness to Scotland. Uh, St. Andrew, the patron, skates, pa patron saint of Scotland, and our indebtedness to Scotland has to do with the fact that, it, um, that our first American bishop, Bishop Samuel Seabury of Connecticut was consecrated in Scotland in 1784. He was elected here um, in Connecticut, but couldn't be consecrated here because there were new, no Anglican bishops. He couldn't be consecrated in England. We had just broken from England in our American Revolution, and he could not swear an oath to the crown. So he ended up being consecrated in Scotland. So that is part of our Scottish roots. And then this other cross, the, the red cross, is the red cross of St. George, um, symbolizing our uh, roots in the Church of England. So we've got England and Scotland, and that Scottish cross is made up of nine crosslets. And those nine crosslets symbolize the nine states that came together, who came together, nine representatives from nine states in the in the city of Philadelphia in 1789 to sign the Constitution of the Episcopal Church. So 1789 was the first general convention of the Episcopal Church, and nine states were represented. Um, as you can see on my low-tech poster board, those states were Connecticut, Maryland, Massachusetts, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York, South Carolina, Virginia, and Delaware. Um, a lot of the same folks who signed this constitution signed the U.S. Constitution. A lot of those gathered in Philadelphia to create the constitution of the Episcopal Church were part of the other constitutional convention as well. This concludes our lesson for today. Thank you for tuning in. Stay well, and God bless you.